A Prince projection leads to Super Bowl rejection for Justin Timberlake, but would it have been worse if he'd used a hologram? Here to weigh in on the hologram debate is iHeartRadio ambassador Patrick Langlois. Now, before we get to it, Patrick, in a, a spirit of disclosure, I've got to say I'm on the board of directors of a holographic technology company. So let's talk about this right now. How morally acceptable do you find it to use projections or inspirations of dead artists in current day uh, performances? Well, it's, it's funny, right? This Super Bowl halftime show that was supposed to be drama-free has sparked this debate again, mostly because there was a rumor this weekend that there was going to be a hologram of Prince. Now, we all know that's not what happened. It was actually a projection that was planned months ago. So it's not like there was a hologram that, that was nixed because of the drama. There was never going to be a hologram. But yeah, the debate has started again, especially that the Prince had said before that um, he thought that uh, holograms of dead artists were, uh, were a, a, a demon and that he would never want it, and that's why he wanted to... Uh, retain artistic control. That said, is a projection any different? I think it's all about uh, the artist's wishes. And I think that nowadays, uh, every artist, if you have a good lawyer, you're going to have to sit down and, and think of the question, hey, once I'm dead, is this something that I want, yay or nay? I think if the artist has said that it's not something that he wanted, as Prince had, then I can agree that maybe his fans aren't necessarily happy. Uh, anything else, I guess... Uh, is okay as long as the family agrees with it. But I think that any artist who's alive is, uh, is gonna have to ask himself the question right now. We've seen live and uh, dead artists perform together in the past. Nat King Cole and his daughter, for example, uh, uh, comes to mind as one of the first that I remember. What's the history of holograms, though, in Hollywood? We go back uh, almost 12 years ago. Um, in 2006, you remember a famous cartoon band, Gorillaz? Well, they were asked to perform at the 48th Annual Grammy Awards. And they said, well, we've never performed. We've always been cartoons. And so they used a hologram uh, for that performance, the duet that they did with Madonna that was very well received. Uh, then the year right after, Celine Dion walked onto the, sta to the stage of American Idol with uh, Elvis Presley. Uh, he was right there, but he wasn't alive. It was a hologram. Uh, that was a very, very successful one. Cost uh, upwards of 100000 thousand dollars to get that duet to happen and then another super famous one is in 2012 when at Coachella 17 years after his death Tupac Shakur walked on stage and said what's up Coachella obviously that had been uh, created with the computer since Coachella was uh, was started when Tupac was already dead he duetted with uh, Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre and then another super famous one 2014 at the Billboard Awards uh, the King of Pop Michael Jackson six years after his death was back on stage moonwalking his way across a slave to the rhythm and so there's been more and more of these and the uh, technology is advancing very quickly and what's the future look like if that's the past what are we gonna what are we walking into there's actually a few projects uh, that people are working on. Uh, American Idol mastermind Simon Fuller is working on an artificial intelligence version of ABBA that he wants to take on tour. There's also plans that were nixed uh, a few years ago. There was supposed to be a diva summit between Christina Aguilera and uh, Whitney Houston. Apparently, Houston's family said that uh, it wasn't up to, to par yet. They're not opposed to the idea, but they're waiting for uh, technology to be a bit more advanced. And then in the uh, heavy metal world, Ronnie James Dio, he died in 2010. Uh, his wife and former manager has created a hologram. Uh, he played a 2016 festival and it was such a success that they are taking the hologram on tour. Could be upwards of a hundred dates. Uh, same for Roy Orbison. There's a tour coming in April 2018 uh, in the UK. The Hologram UK tour is supposed to be a mesmerizing touring event with Roy Orbison. So uh, there's more and more of these that are not only in the works but that are seeing the light of day. And lastly, my friend, let's talk about that Miami high school that got a pretty significant visitor over the past few days. Yeah, you touched upon it yesterday. Drake has been in a giving mood, and the giving continues. Uh, now, what we knew yesterday is that he had hit Miami Senior High, gave $25,000 in donation. He gave uniforms uh, that he had designed himself. He gave uh, a student, Destiny James, a $50,000 check for uh, tuition. And then yesterday afternoon, in Miami again, the giving continued. Drake showed up in a supermarket, and he announced that he was paying the groceries for everyone. Now, mind you, there was cameras there, and so he's filming God's Plan video. So this is all a bit of a publicity stunt, but still, he spent $50,000 in groceries. Everyone was uh, pretty happy. So my advice to you is that if you see Drake anywhere, you should probably stick around because he's in a generous mood these days. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.